Welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to learn how to convert different versions of AutoCAD file to a compatible version. In this video, you can learn to this DWG convert option. Click on subscribe, click on bell icon for new updates. Click on this main menu, then go to DWG Convert option. Click on this. You have a dialog box. This dialog box called as DWG Convert dialog box. In this dialog box, here, this area, which file we are going to add, you can see here. Before that, you have to click on this button to add some AutoCAD files. Click on this. You can add the file. See here the drawings to convert it. Next one, you can create a new list and open list and append some list for this drawing. Then save this list into your folder or else your device. Here this area called as conversion setup. This conversion setup convert to 2000. It means 2000 version. Likewise, you have several versions are there. Now I am using the AutoCAD 2020, so you can convert up to 2030. If you want, you can use the standard. This is standard type you can use to skip all folders. But here these are in place but is convert to drawing files. But also create backup files. Now in this video, now I am going to select this 2013 in place. Then this is the setup description. Then conversion setup. This conversion setup you can see some different options are there. Click on this conversion setup. Here already selected this 2013 in place. If you want you can modify this, this option. Click on this modify. Then go to modify conversion setup dialog box. In this dialog box, here several options are there. First one, conversion package type. In this package type, you can use in place and override the file. Or else, you can use folder, set of files. If you can create a file folder, then you can add those files into that folder. Or else, zip file to easy to attach email. Next one, file format is already I selected. Here, conversion file folder is default automatically selected. If you want, you can select actions. First one, the create back backup file. If you want, you can create the backup file by ticking this box or else you can untick. Next one, convert digitally signed file. The dig digital signature files you can convert. If you want, you can tick it. If there are any errors, you can check it and fix that errors by picking up this box. Next one, set default floater to not. If you know that the page setup manager setup, they are, we are selecting a floater, that floater will be selected as non after the conversion. Next one, bind external reference. The reference files you can bind it or else purge drawings. Purge drawings means you can purge unknown applications or unknown objects or else zero objects can delete by the purging. Replacing the page setup. Replacing page setup means if you already selected the page setup, you can replace by ticking this option. Then go to page setup. Here we don't have any page setup. If you want to add any page setup, click on the browse. Then you can select this is a conversion. You can convert multiple versions into a particular version, particular compatible version. Here I am going to show an example. Click on this and go to drawing convert. In this dialog box, we have to add those drawings. Click on this add button, then go to your location. Here we have so many drawings but different type of versions. So I am going to select those files and open. We have added those drawings. Now in this case I am going to convert this 
to 2013 version in place. You can save this list by clicking this save list. Then give a name and save it. Or else you don't need, you can leave it. You can use the file types and the path type autocad versions, you can check it. Here all versions are different versions. 2018, 13 and 2000 likewise. Now I am going to change these old versions into 2013 version. Here I have to make a folder or ship. Now in this case I am going to attach the email so I am going to use this zip file. Click on zip. Then the conversion file folder. So click on this browse menu then go to desktop I am going to place on desktop. The conversion file name is prompt a file name, the same file name. I don't need to change that. Then click OK. Close. Click on convert. Here this zip file is on desktop. Save. Here those files are converting. This is my conversion folder. Thank you. Click on subscribe. Click on bell icon for new updates.